win and they're in. That's the situation for the Wareham Gateman tonight at Spillane Field in Wareham, Massachusetts. Welcome to the Gateman pregame show presented by South Coast Health. I'm Connor Federico alongside Sam Corman. We'll hear from our Claudia Chikamian and Matthew Feld in just a bit. Sam, win and they're in. It's a cliched phrase, but one that the Gateman with three games left probably appreciate. Well, I mean, it could be a lot worse right now because Hyannis has been playing pretty decently recently. And without these last two wins at Orleans on Sunday and here last night um, against Katuit, then it will be certainly a lot different of a situation. But right now the Gatemen have uh, three games left where if they win one of them um, against three very good opponents in the West Division, then they're in automatically. So they really control their own destiny to even more of an extent than they did before now. So um, it's a really solid situation for the fourth place team in the West right now, the Wareham Gateman. Two days ago, the Gatemen traveled to Eldridge Park, and we were thinking, man, the Hyannis Harbor Hawks are really close. This could be a tight race to the finish. Now the Gatemen, four points ahead of the Harbor Hawks, trying to clinch that final spot in the West Division tonight. Going into last night, things looked not exactly certain. The Gatemen were down against the Katuit Ketteliers who had played earlier in the day. Then suddenly you get runs in the 7th, 8th, and ninth. A great comeback victory. Excellent resiliency from the Gatemen uh, lineup yesterday in the late innings of the game. They get um, kind of a somewhat lucky uh, scoring in the 7th off an error by um, the Falmouth shortstop, or excuse me, not the Falmouth, the Katuit shortstop. And then um, in the 8th inning, the hitting starts to come alive, and you get an RBI single from Jake Anchia. He's been phenomenal all season. What can you say about this guy? 19 runs batted in this season. That leads the, the Wareham Gateman. And then, in the, and then in the ninth inning, of course, Captain Clutch comes through. And let's not forget that there was two outs, nobody on in that, and we were gearing up for extra innings. Stephen Kwan works a nice walk. Robbie Metz in the two-hole. Oppo opposite field down the line. Can't ask for anything better. That's basically the only situation in where Quan would score from first base, and Mets certainly delivered it. It was a perfect hit. Mets' second walk-off of the year, again, right down that right field line. It was really impressive. I was almost more impressed with the uh, I was almost more impressed rather with the pitching staff for the Gateman. Two runs were on the scoreboard, but they were both unearned. Noah Zavalas had a great start, and then the bullpen picked him up perfectly. It just seems like Noah Zavalas goes out, and he, he's guaranteed to have at least five or six strikeouts every time, and he only goes, you know, five or six innings per outing, and that's that's the max that Jim Lawler basically allows with this pitching staff, and he's taking full advantage of these starts. He's been in, he's been excellent in the past few starts, especially yesterday. Um, no earned runs allowed. Grant Wolfram comes in, has a bit of a rough first inning in his, in relief, but at the same time, he doesn't give up any runs. Right. Um, Kasuit's unable to score off of him with the bases loaded. He gets out of the jam, comes in for another strong inning, and then Brett Kanine obviously going to come in and shut the door. There's no ch there's no shot that Kasuit's <laughs> going to score off of that guy. So. Um, the pitching staff really came together nicely yesterday for the Gatemen, and it very well could have been a shutout if not for one you know, rare error by the shortstop, Ben Baird. It was a good performance for the Gatemen yesterday, a 3-2 to two win over a West Division rival, the Katuit Ketteliers. Today they have a West Division opponent again, the Falmouth Commodores. We'll get more to the pitching matchup on the other side of this break on the Gatemen pregame show presented by South Coast Health. When you're sick or injured, you want care when and where it's convenient for you. South Coast Health Urgent Care has four locations, Fairhaven, Wareham, and now in Seekonk and Dartmouth. You can view wait times and even check in online at southcoast.org slash urgent care. Choose the time and location that's best for you. We'll even remind you when it's time to come in, and walk-ins are always welcome. Urgent care that exists to meet your needs. More than you expected? That's more than medicine. Check in at southcoast.org slash urgent care. The Skateman lineup tonight will try to go after the starting pitcher for the Falmouth Commodores. It's Cody Shelton. This is his second appearance on the Cape this summer. He had one appearance against the Bourne Braves, did pretty well through four and a third innings. He comes from Stamford University in Alabama. This will be his second appearance tonight against the Gateman. And his counterpart on the mound is someone who's going way past his second appearance. He's a season starter for this point for the Gateman. Justin Montgomery has been on the rotation all season long. Made the All-Star game as the starting pitcher for the West Division. He's been, you know, remarkable this season. And we'd expect to, to look for him to look for a bounce back start after um, his last rough appearance. He only was able to get about a, an inning and a third into that game. And I think that this appearance will be huge for Justin Montgomery. Get some momentum going into 
what will hopefully be the first round playoff series. And, um, you know, I, I think this, this guy's breaking ball has been really good this season. That's been the key for him is that curveball. And I think we'll be seeing a good comeback start from Justin Montgomery against a really loaded Falmouth lineup. That Falmouth lineup is really loaded, and we'll get to that on the other side of this break. You're watching the Gateman pregame show presented by South Coast Health. When you're sick or injured, you want care when and where it's convenient for you. South Coast Health Urgent Care has four locations, Fairhaven, Wareham, and now in Seekonk and Dartmouth. You can view wait times and even check in online at southcoast.org slash urgent care. Choose the time and location that's best for you. We'll even remind you when it's time to come in, and walk-ins are always welcome. Urgent care that exists to meet your needs. More than you expected? That's more than medicine. Check in at southcoast.org slash urgent care. Welcome back to the Gateman pregame show presented by South Coast Health. I'm Claudia Chikamian, joined alongside Stephen Kwan. So, Stephen, you guys were tied in the ninth inning. Uh, when you went up to the play, it was two outs. So what were you thinking during that plate appearance? To be honest, I actually told the guys in the dugout that if I got an opportunity with two outs, I was going to try to hit a home run. But obviously, I can't really do that. So I was trying to get a pitch I can get. And luckily, I got walked, and, and Robbie brought us home. How good did it feel crossing the plate to win the game? It felt good. It felt good to finally get that last run, get another win on the board, get a win streak going. So it's momentum's on our side for sure. Now you guys have been playing the last two games very short on the bench, nine position players. So again today you're going to be short with that. So against a very good Falmouth team. So what is your mindset going into today's game? I think we're kind of excited for it. It's kind of fun, you know, like we don't have anybody on the bench. It's just us. So we kind of trust each other, having fun with it, being really loose with it. And obviously it's been working. We've been winning a couple games. So happy to keep it going today. Now, Falmouth is, is a team that you guys have struggled with a bit. Um, you had that 9-9 tie at the very beginning of the season. You weren't here for it, but they walked off here at Splain Field. So is there anything you guys are feeling when you face them for the final time this regular season? No, I think we just need to keep our momentum going. Like I said, we're feeling really good about things, feeling very loose, having a lot of fun. Just hopefully we keep that together and get another win. Yeah, now we have, you have this game, then a home and home against Bourne to finish out the regular season. But what has this experience been like for you so far? Oh, I've loved it. You know, the people here are great, uh, amazing coaches. I've learned a ton. And just being able to play every day is just an amazing feeling. I'm, I'm loving it out here for sure. Now, you guys are almost have that final playoff spot. I know when we were at Orleans the other day, you kept checking in with us to see about the Hyannis score. So is that on your guys' minds at all, knowing that they're so close to catching up to you guys, or are you just playing the game the best you guys can? It's a little bit in the back of our mind, but at the end of the day, we got to play our own game and focus on what we can control. Obviously, we can't really control how they do, but it's definitely in the little back of our minds, I think. Great. Thank you, Stephen. Thank you. Back to you guys. Thank you very much, Claudia. Just as a reminder, you can email the Press Box here at the Gateman Baseball Network anytime by emailing pressbox at gateman.org. And make sure to follow the Gateman on all forms of social media, including Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, SoundCloud, and you're watching this on YouTube. We now welcome to the Gateman pregame show, Matthew Feld and Matt, the batting title for the uh, Cape League. It's a very interesting spot right now. Two of the guys that are leading the way are in this game tonight, sort of. Sort of. Tanner Dodson is technically inactive. He's still in the Wareham uh, tri-market area, so to speak, but he's done for the summer. He's going home, but he'll finish with enough plate appearances. And Alec Bohm was missed the last four games with an injury of his own. Unclear whether he is active for tonight's game or not. He's on the roster, but it's unclear whether he'll play. He's kind of taken it easy the last couple of days. But those two are leading the way. They could be both done for the summer. We'll see on Bohm's condition, but they both qualified with enough plate appearances to compete for the title. Now, if those two finish at the top, Tanner Dotson will win. He's got 361 to compare to Bohm's 358, and he would become the third consecutive Gateman to take home the batting title. Well, that'd be pretty impressive, especially for sitting out the last week or so of the season. Speaking of roster moves, there are guys that are getting added to this roster tomorrow. Yeah, four guys coming in tomorrow. Three have already come in. Two pitchers that we talked about yesterday and John Murphy and Chris Weiss came, Chris White, excuse me, who came in here yesterday. Darren Reagans is here today, a left-hander out of Delaware State. And a couple of more guys will come in tomorrow. A first baseman from Siena's on his way in. We have an outfielder coming in who played some time up this summer in Danvers, um, Danvers, Danbury, excuse me, in the NECBL. And the second baseman shortstop that's to be named later, uh, not for cash considerations, um, <laughs> who's, who's on his way in as well. So the game will receive three position players tomorrow. They'll be all active. And it'll give head coach Johnson a little more flexibility than he's had the last couple of days. 
days. Yeah, no cash considerations around here in the Cape League. Moving forward to the playoff picture, the Gatemen have three chances in the next three games. Get one win and you're in. But this playoff picture in the West, it's so tight right now. Is there any matchup you think favors the Gatemen? My guess is probably Katuit favors the game in the most. I mean, in terms of overall power, Katuit has as much power in their lineup as anyone, while well, Bourne might be the weakest all-around team offensively. They don't really hit for extra bases, but the game have had great success with Katuit this year. They've beaten them four out of six times. They lost a close 2 nothing game here, and the game they lost in Katuit was 4 to nothing, um, and a really a pitcher's deal throughout in both those games. So if I'm the game, and I'm probably shooting for Katuit, you know Noah Zavalos can pitch against them. He would be the game one starter. He pitched great yesterday, and if if you can win game one, you got a chance to win the series back at home. So my guess is Katuit would probably be the most favorable matchup of them all for the Gateman. The West continues to shake up, and we get ready for first pitch here on the Gateman Baseball Network. For Matt Feld, I'm Connor Federico. We'll take a quick break on the Gateman pregame show presented by South Coast Health. When you're sick or injured, you want care when and where it's convenient for you. South Coast Health Urgent Care has four locations, Fairhaven, Wareham, and now in Seekonk and Dartmouth. You can view wait times and even check in online at southcoast.org slash urgent care. Choose the time and location that's best for you. We'll even remind you when it's time to come in, and walk-ins are always welcome. Urgent care that exists to meet your needs. More than you expected? That's more than medicine. Check in at southcoast.org slash urgent care. Welcome back to the Gateman pregame show presented by South Coast Health. I'm Connor Federico alongside Sam Corman. Sam, for the first time this season, it's the same lineup for three straight nights. In terms of guys hitting one through nine, the only difference is Willie McIver will DH and Jake Anchia will catch. It seems like on a two-game winning streak with the same lineup, the Gateman have a bit of mojo going. Well, it's been working with, with these last two games, and you have a nice... Um, steady one through four at the top. Quan is obviously um, one of the best leadoff hitters in this Cape League because of how easy he, he, he makes it look to get on base. Robbie Metz really doing a really nice job behind him. A prime example of that was in the ninth <laughs> inning yesterday. And then Jaron Duran in the cleanup spot is, has been really interesting, but he's done a really nice job. And it's not, it's not the power, but he did have two extra base hits in Orleans on Sunday. Um, he continues to provide at least one or two um, opportunities to get on base uh, for the guys behind him um, per game now in the cleanup spot, and I think that it's really good that he's been able to stay up there. Um, and then at the bottom of the order, you have guys like um, Jake Anchia hitting well, and you have Blake Sable who's been hitting pretty well. You'd like to see him get back on track after a um, 0 for a night yesterday with three strikeouts. And then Ben Baird's been hitting well at the bottom of the order. But, you know, at the same time, Willie McIver is down there, and he's a guy that was hitting so well at the beginning of the season. We know the potential that he has. So if he can get back to... The Willie McIver that we saw the first few weeks of the season, the order will look be, will be looking really good one through nine right now, and I think that's why Coach Snedden has been keeping it the, um, consistent over the past few games. Don't forget Kyle Kasser too, oh, who's hitting over 300 in his last 10 games with five RBIs. He's been great at that three hole, which is different from him. That's not what he usually does at Oregon. So now let's talk about the Falmouth side. They have a bunch of impressive players. The Commodores are 3-1-1 one, and one against the Gatemen this season, looking for that fourth win, but the Gatemen want to change that. They want to even things up a little bit against this division rival. They've played a lot of close games against each other. Who's your player to watch today? Well, it's going to be the catcher, and whether that's Adley Rutschman out of Oregon State, one of the best catchers in the NCAA this season, or if it's Joshua Bro out of McLennan Community College, because Josh Bro. He hit a three-run <laughs> game-tying pinch hit Don't remind me. in the bottom half of the ninth that Gov Fuller field a few games ago against the Commodores, and, or against the Gateman, excuse me, with the Commodores. And this guy has some of the best raw power in the Cape Cod Baseball League. He had over 20 home runs in community college this season. Um, look for him to be a force if he's in the lineup, middle of the lineup guy. So, um, you know, Josh Bro, uh, watch out for that guy. I mean... He's hurt the Gateman before, and he's probably not afraid to do it again, even with these deep walls here at Spillane yeah. Field. Well, I mean, the Gateman, they've, all these games they've lost to the Commodores have been so close. How can they get the win tonight? How can they turn that trend around? Well, I think if they can get to their starter a little bit earlier than they have been in the past few games, they kind of, you know, have been, they struggled in that 9-9 tie to score early on in the game, but then they, you know, kind of piled it on later. But 
you know, every game with the Falmouth this year has been completely different from one another. We've seen pitchers duels, we've seen nine nine ties and in extra innings. So it's really tough to predict what will happen today and what the key for the Gateman to win will be. But um, you know, getting that middle of the lineup, preventing the power is really is really a big key for the Gateman as well. Marty Bikina, um, we don't know if Alec Bohm is gonna be back in the lineup today. He's still on the roster, but um Josh Bro, if he's in the lineup, you know, Bo top to bottom, there's a ton of power. You have Austin Langworthy, an infielder out of Florida, who can really provide a nice spark at the top of the order. So this is a stacked lineup, and if the Gateman can prevent extra base hits today and, and home runs, I think they'll be in good shape. That'll be the goal for Justin Montgomery tonight, the Gateman starter. That'll do it for the Gateman pregame show presented by South Coast Health. For Matt Feld, Claudia Chikamian, Sam Corman, I'm Connor Federico. Enjoy the game and go Gateman.